Welcome to my Android tutorials on OpenGL ES2 and today we will get started with OpenGL ES2. So what you're gonna start off is by standard making a project so we can do OpenGL ES2, that's the name of our project I guess. Uh, target SDK, whatever you feel like. I'm gonna do 15 because I have that one installed. So let's do next. Uh, create a launcher icon whatnot. Just a text, uh, let's say like a ES2. That's gonna be good. Let's not create an activity. No, wait. Yeah, let's not create an activity. Because it uh, we will make a mess later on. So if we go into a, uh, your uh, product here, we can go to the source and we need to add a new project. This needs to be the same package that was in here before. So it was uh, .com.example.opengl. Whoops. ES2. Click finish. And now you can create the... Uh, the activity manually so I mean activity if I could spell and then you go going to hit the uh, superclass browse and we're going to search for the Android app activity thing we can use that and we'll automatically uh, inherit the methods from the parent class or not okay so now that we have our main activity we also need to create two other classes so these two other classes would be main surface view and uh that one yeah it does have a, a thing it is a gl surface view that's what it inherits and of course it needs to add those methods or constructor and we also need to create the class main renderer and that one doesn't have any super class, it actually implements a uh, renderer. But, uh, will, that, will that work? And import renderer. So we'll, we'll get back to these other two classes, for, but first we need to set up the activity. So, set up the activity, you're going to add a couple lines. So, first off, we need to override the onCreate uh, function. So here we have the uh, on create is that bundle and so we're going to also call the parent function so it's a super oops, on create and yeah it's just going to automatically fill in the variable and what we're going to do is we're actually going to check to see if the device can support OpenGLES2 so we're going to type in Activity Manager AM, and then we're going to put a cast over to uh, Activity Manager Git System Service and Context Activity Service. All right, so it's just uh, import all these packages. And now we're going to get the uh, configuration info from it. So, configuration info, info equals am, which is the activity manager we just got a couple seconds ago. Get device, con device configuration info. Hopefully, I spelled that right. All right, I did. I did not. Do that. And that imports it. All right, and now we are going to make a variable that states whether or not we can support ES2. So it's going to be a boolean, and uh, let's do info dot required GLES version, which is a constant, and we're going to check to see if it is of a certain build number. So the first 16 bits is the uh, major build number. Then the last 16 bits are the uh, minor build number. So, 2. Alright, so if support ES2. So, yeah, if we support it, then we'll do whatever. But um, if, it, if we can't support it for some reason, then we say the device doesn't support GL ES2. And import log. Uh, 
So right now, if you tested it, you shouldn't know because it has an error there. But if you tested it, it wouldn't do anything because we haven't made it draw anything yet. What we do is we're going to create an instance of the renderer called main renderer. And like I said, to equal new main renderer main surface view main surface view the name of the variable and then, yeah we're creating a instance of the main surface view class and the context will be this class because it needs a context but it's used later on so yes our variable main surface view and set EGL context client version and we're going to set it to 2 so that just means yes you're using OpenGL ES2 so and then also we're going to set the renderer of a main surface view to main renderer so let me explain this code a little bit so basically we create an instance of a renderer which is where it does all the drawing and such and then we created a, a view, which is kind of like an object that Android uses. It's a little widget system. And now we set the uh, drawing part to our main renderer here. So, yes. But before it gets added, to we have to add it to like the screen. So, set content view. And then we set the view to main service view. Uh, well, it doesn't. Well, if you do test it on your device, you will likely see black because we haven't made it draw anything yet. So if we go to our main renderer, we will start using these uh, OpenGLES2 functions. So OpenGLES2 can be used, like, instead of having to have a GL context anymore, we can just do it statically. So we can use uh, GL clear color. And we're gonna set the color to a a good color, so it's gonna look kind of. So we have the uh, red, green, blue, and alpha, which is the opacity. I'm gonna set that to one. One is 100% opaque, and then zero is 100% transparent or zero percent opaque. And yeah, we're just setting the color to whenever it uh, refreshes the uh, draw. That's what the background color will be. So we're gonna do another function, which is uh actually clears, and we're going to use GLES twenty uh, GL color buffer bit, which is it just says clear the colors. And we're also going to do another one which uh, clears the uh, the depth. So gl underscore depth buffer bit. All right. That's about it. I'd like to thank you for watching. See you guys for the next tutorial.